Okay, so let's start with 12, 15, and 30. We're going to do the prime factorization. So 12 breaks down to become 2 squared times 3. 15 breaks down to become 3 times 5. And 30 breaks down to become 2 times 3 times 5. Now notice the only common or the only factor common to all three numbers is 3. So 3 is the GCD or the GCF, however you'd like to call it. Okay, next let's do 18, 24, and 30. So 18 prime factorization is 2 times 3 squared. 24 the prime factorization is 2 cubed times 3. And then 30 the prime factorization we've already done. That's 2 times 3 times 5. So notice there's 2 as a factor of all these numbers. So there's 2. We use the smallest power of 2 found in all three of these. So that would be 2 to the first. And then let's go for another factor. Oh, 3 is a factor common to all three numbers. So we use that. Notice 5 is only common to 30. So we don't use that 5. So we should do 2 times 3, which is 6, which is the GCF of these three numbers, 18, 24, and 30. Last, let's do 30, 45, and 90. I don't know why 30 just appeared three times today. So that's just going to be 2 times 3 times 5. 40 is going to be 3 squared times 5. Sorry, that looks like an odd number 2. And then 90 is 2 times 3 squared times 5. So notice for 2s, oh, 2 isn't common to 45. So 2 will not be part of this. Let's look at 3. There's a 3 common to all 3 numbers. Again, we use the lowest power that's common to all. So it's 3 to the first power as found in 30. And then next, let's look at 5. Now, 5 is common to all 3 numbers, so we're actually going to use it. Now, 3 times 5 is 15. So 15 is the GCD or GCF of 30, 45, and 90.